Hey guys, and welcome back to After the Run. In this episode, we're gonna talk about whether or not it's even healthy or safe to lose 10 pounds in 10 days. Uh, so I'm excited to dig into this. When I posted yesterday that I'd be doing this 10 day challenge, the first comment that came up was, um, do you know or do you realize that that's not healthy? And, and this is a tricky one for me because last year when I lost 100 pounds in a year, I did a ton of research and I tried to do it the right way. And I feel way better. I'm certainly healthier now. Um, I went from 40% body fat to under 20% body fat. I can do a lot more. My body feels better. I'm sleeping better. And so if we just look at that objective measure that, you know, starting at 306 pounds and going down um, 100 pounds from there, I'm certainly healthier now than, than I was then. Um, however, that doesn't mean that everything I did was healthy or the best way to do it. And so I spent actually a lot of time today doing research on this topic to see, can you lose weight quickly and what are the you know consequences of doing that? Obviously, uh, losing weight slowly is going to be healthier, but why? And so in this episode, we're going to talk about uh, can you do it in a healthy way and what are the the pros and cons of doing that. So first, consensus uh, in, across the board in research shows that um, it is better to lose weight slowly than lose weight quickly. And that's just a fact. Now, can you lose weight quickly? Yes, you can. Can you lose 10 pounds in 10 days? Yes, you can, absolutely. Um, can you do it in a healthy way? Yes, um, but there are a lot of qualifiers for that. Um, and so let's go through some of those things. Now, why is it unhealthy to lose weight slowly? Well, first off, for our bodies to lose fat, um, typically we can't lose more than one to two pounds a week of fat. So if you're losing 10 pounds or, or let's say seven pounds in a week, that means you're losing five pounds of something else. Now that's going to mostly be muscle and water. Now, um, you want to have your water weight high um, because that's what makes your body function. However, not all wadi, water weight is healthy. If you're eating a lot of processed foods, um, if you're eating a lot of sugary foods, then you are eating foods that hold a lot of water and that's why your body's gonna be bloated and inflamed and that is not healthy. And so actually losing some water weight, if you've been on a bad diet, losing water weight quickly can be a really good thing. And that's kind of where I'm sitting after holiday eating if I've been eating a lot of junk for the last few weeks, so I'm retaining a lot more water than I used to. And I know that because um, my weight was pretty stable for a long time and then it shot up over the holidays. And so some of that's just actual weight gain, but a lot of it's actual water weight. And so can you lose some water weight and, and do that in a healthy way? Absolutely. In fact, I expect in these first two or three days, just in the first two or three days, to lose upwards of five pounds of water and and I think that's okay to do as long as I'm doing the other things that I'm going to talk about here. So you can lose five pounds in a week of water. Uh, of course, we want to minimize any muscle loss. Now, can you still be healthy while losing muscle? Yes, you can because what happens is when you're really big, you have a lot of muscle from carrying all that extra weight and as you slim down, um, you don't need as much muscle to carry that weight. Now, obviously, we want as much muscle as possible because muscle helps burn calories. And so the more muscle we have, actually, the better we're going to be at losing weight. It also helps with metabolism and hormone regulation. And so having as much muscle as possible is a, a good idea. Um, but if you're going to lose weight quickly, just know that you're probably going to lose some muscle with that fat, with that water. Um, now, when I lost the 100 pounds, I lost about 25 pounds of muscle. Uh, and then last year, I actually gained about 25 pounds back, and it was mostly muscle. I lost another 20 pounds of fat, but then as I gained muscle, my weight went up slightly. And so that can be healthy. Um, it's okay. Okay, so let's talk about what you can do to make sure that you're losing weight quickly, but in a healthy way. One is by making sure that you are gaining muscle while you lose fat and possibly some water weight. And so the way you gain muscle, of course, is through exercise. Now, doing cardio is not gonna gain, you're not gonna gain a lot of muscle quickly. If you really wanna gain muscle quickly, that's through resistance training, strength training, lifting weights. 
And so if you want to lose weight quickly, probably you should be hitting the gym. Um, and that's just going to minimize some of those negative effects uh, of losing weight quickly, okay? Now, can you still do cardio? Absolutely, and cardio is a great way to burn calories. Um, you can burn a lot of calories by doing a lot of cardio. I know because I ran 10 miles today and burnt about 1,500 calories. And so that's absolutely a great way to burn calories. Um, and then after my run, I also did some strength training and did some micro workouts throughout the day. Now, you want to keep your metabolism up. And if you over-exercise, um, you can actually see a decrease in your metabolism. Um, and so you have to be careful with that. Um, I'm a little nervous now about doing this 10 miles a day. The more research I'm doing on this, 10 miles a day for 10 days is not a long-term thing, and so it's not gonna be super detrimental to me, but it might actually lower my metabolism. Now, to counteract that, I'm doing some strength training and I'm doing micro workouts through the day. My micro workouts are just one to three minutes of just short sets of something. Today I did sit-ups, so I've done 10 different sets. Actually, I've only done eight sets so far, so I have two more to do tonight. But I've done eight sets of 25 sit-ups. And by doing that throughout the day, that's keeping my metabolism up, okay? So that's another thing th that you can do to counteract that. Now, the most important thing, if you're gonna lose weight fast, is making sure that you're do doing it with the right diet. Um, as I mentioned earlier, water weight can be a major thing in losing weight quickly, and so, if you want to not hold on to the, the water weight through bad carbs, what you can do is eat better carbs, which are low calorie carbs, vegetables um, primarily, and then transitioning over into more lean proteins. Um, and then there's of course other uh, foods that help with bloating and stuff like that, like asparagus or avocados, uh, dandelion tea, stuff like that. And so you can use those to help with the bloating. Um, but if you transition out of highly processed sugary foods and add in more low carb vegetables, um, then that's going to help you lose the bad water weight, um, continue drinking a lot to make sure that you don't want to do damage to your body. You actually want to have higher water weight. You want um, your total body water weight to be around 60%. And most obese people have it closer down to 40% because they're holding on to that water, but it's not circulating through their body. So they're not drinking enough and they're dehydrated. And so what you want to do in losing weight quickly is making sure you're drinking a lot of water. Don't drink your calories, just drink water. And if you're drinking a lot, my goal is 120 ounces a day for the next 10 days. Um, and that means you're going to the bathroom a lot because it's cycling through you, especially as you get rid of some of that junk that's in your body. Um, but as you do that, that's gonna help your body work more efficiently um, and that's gonna help with the water weight. Um, and so drink a lot of water, but be eating the right things with it. Now finally, one last thing that's gonna help you to lose weight uh, safely and smartly is make sure you get enough sleep. Uh, and I didn't realize this was as important and as big a deal as it is until I started doing the research, but your, your body is gonna um, maintain its metabolism better, it's gonna, uh, maintain those hormone levels better if you get adequate sleep. So be shooting for at least seven hours a night. If you can get up to eight, eight and a half hours a night, um, especially if you're doing a lot of exercise, a lot of strength training, try to get more sleep and that's going to help your body to regulate um, and to be more efficient with what it's doing as far as um, burning calories and maintaining your insulin levels, your hormone levels, um, and your metabolism. So make sure you get enough sleep. So just to recap, can you lose weight quickly? Yes. Now, we, what we didn't talk about was, is this going to be different for people? Yeah. If you're morbidly obese, you can lose a lot weight of weight quicker than people who aren't morbidly obese. Um, if you're a taller, bigger person, you're going to be able to lose more weight. Now, I'm a big guy, and so 10 pounds in 10 days was a reasonable goal for me. It's a stretch goal, especially if I want to do it in a healthy way. Um, but it's absolutely possible. If you're a 120 pound woman, probably half of that would be more reasonable. So looking at five pounds of weight loss. Um, and then just know that this is something that you can't sustain. Um, it works because you're getting rid of bad water weight. Um, and so doing it during the holiday seasons, doing it to jumpstart a new diet or exercise regimen, it can work for a week or two, but long-term you have to be smarter and look at the, the losing weight slowly method of one to two pounds a week. Um, that's really what's gonna help you more in the long run. 
Well, I hope that this episode was helpful for you. Um, if you want to comment on it, go ahead and head over to the blog, afterTheRun.com, and we'll have this episode posted up there. I'd love to hear uh, your thoughts on this, especially if you're an expert or if you've tried this before. All right, have a great day, and, and let's lose that weight. Bye-bye.